Hey there everybody, Reed here, conductor at Orchestra Farm, coming to you this beautiful spring day. Today I wanted to chat with you about patience. You know, as the spring comes, there's still that early morning coldness and the midnight coldness that's there, so you can't just put all your seeds into the ground or get all the projects off the ground and running. And For me, it requires a lot of extra patience because we are in a frost pocket here but look my patience has got me blooms on the currants and you can see there a giant full thing of water because again I don't live here and we just had some major rain events so that's just from the water over the weekend pretty exciting and I gotta get these guys in the ground I'm a little late on that sometimes patience goes in the opposite direction where you had too much patience or there was too much stuff going on and you prioritized other things and on this super wet earth let me show you these other currents over here that I got on the ground from a couple years ago here's a couple years ago currents isn't that exciting look at how closely I spaced them I mean this is like a nursery bed that I'm essentially going to abandon as a nursery bed because it gets so much shade that not everything wants to live here. And it's so covered in buttercup that who wants to have a plant that comes with buttercup? Patience is also having fruit trees that you got to be patient for them to produce fruit. You know, it's fun to talk to my daughter and be like, yeah, it's going to take five years to produce an apple patience what's happening in your life that you need to have patience for and what are the things that are taking place that you put off and maybe had too much patience for and now they're growing up tall pretty grateful in here that the kale survived the winter it does that can't enjoy kale too much is my generalized opinion and even our sea of chickweed is coming back in which I'm actually starting to feed that to my chickens a bit, which is exciting. Patience is also recognizing that, like, you know, my kids are growing at their perfect pace, and what are the things that they need to learn at any given time? And that notion of, like, you know, how much should they know how to read by a given age, or mathematics, and letting them have their interests about things while at the same time encouraging their development. And knowing that everyone will learn at the perfect time in their life for things, and I don't necessarily need to push too hard, but I don't know always like what that degree of patience should be like. And with that, sometimes I ponder like, am I being too patient with this? Should I be pressing more? Should I put on my coaching hat and look at our sea buckthorn here loving that should I put on my hat of being a coach and cheerleader and encouraging stinging nettles you notice I'm not touching with my fingers but that's some good stuff there I find it's important to just take some extra breaths whenever I'm considering any of that stuff because otherwise I might move too quick. Like if I brought the tractor down here, it is gonna get stuck in this puddle. There's no way it's gonna get past this giant bit of waterway. Huh. Noticing all kinds of interesting plants here. Gives you a lot more time when you have patience to observe the environment that we're living with. And observation is really a key to designing your systems properly, whatever those systems might be. You know, my wife in particular, she's not a fan of the mustard greens. Oh, goodness. But I said, I think that the chickens will like them, and if it can outcompete the thistle, which it doesn't seem like that's real, that would be amazing. How much patience am I going to have to turn over the beds? How much patience do we need to wait for the currants to flower? 
how much patience does it take to, frankly, become an adult? Especially in a society that, I don't know, seems like it's sheltering us from actually becoming adults. Like, they're not teaching you financial literacy in school or ecological literacy. They're not teaching you proper health care as far as I'm concerned. And how do you have patience for that when every year of your life is either a little bit of progress or a little bit of setback? And the ability to prioritize things appropriately so that you have as much advancement as possible with as few setbacks. I think patience is a part of that. And being able to breathe through the situation, take off whatever blinders you've got on so that way you can actually observe what's happening, and maybe even consult with some people who know more than you. Are there some elders in your life, whether they're actually related to you or not, that you can speak with who have been doing whatever you're interested in longer than you've been doing it, that have seen the environment longer than you, those kind of perspectives are invaluable. So with that, I encourage you to go out there and cross the generational divide. Meet people who are doing the things that you're interested in, take an extra breath, have that extra moment of patience, and then make it all happen. With that, this is Reed Richard. Thanks so much to everyone out there who has subscribed to this channel. Super appreciate all that. The comments that are coming in have been fantastic. I'd love to hear how you embrace patience in your life. I'd love to hear how maybe procrastination gets conflated with patience in your life. And I hope you have too much fun. Enjoy.